Hey, I'm Noodle Yeti, and this is the 14th part in a series I'm doing where I build a city called Westdale. Something I haven't mentioned or, mod or expanded upon in quite a while is that this is a mod-free build insofar as all the mods I use are completely production-related, such as the first-person camera mod, the cinematic camera that allows me to do the scenes at the end, and the other ones such as like Harmony and things like that that run in the background. And there are a few things that I would like to get done this episode. The first of which is actually going to be talking about our education, but I'm not going to be doing that while doing nothing. I'll be doing that while building some of the other stuff. The very first thing is actually implementing a few of the things we got from the last milestone we hit. So if we get out of this view and we hit this button over here, not that one, we got a new area we could buy. We've got a liberal college campus, liberal, liberal arts college campus, not a liberal college, a liberal college art or liberal arts. I don't know why that's such a tongue twister for me. We've got crematoriums and that is actually what I want to implement this time around. And I don't want to do just a couple randomly scattered crematoriums throughout the city, although that we're going to have to do that just to improve our coverage. But I was actually thinking about turning part of this area over here where the forestry industry is into a crematorium park where we can use the one we got this crematorium memorial park, put that in there and maybe a couple of the default in-game crematoriums in there and spruce it up with the park life DLC around it, put some fencing and whatnot. Something more along the lines of what you might see in real life with these big parks. Huh. Anyways. And so a couple other things I wanted to touch on was actually taking care of this industry and commercial demand we have. And the first area I wanted to fill in was right over here. I was thinking of putting more of the offices in on the left side over here and more of the high density on the right side over here, but I would like to put in a few offices over here as well. First thing we're going to have to do is actually change out this fire station for a different one. I originally put this down when I thought I was going to keep this area low density, but things happened. The next commercial area I'd like to do is just going to be like a small one or two blocks in this area over here. And this one I'd like to kind of call like the Grove because it's right next to our strangely orange colored lemons for our lemonade factory and just kind of put that over here with a couple leisure leisure specializations maybe a couple offices and maybe a couple things of agricultural industry over here as well there are a couple things that i do want to change around town there's a few things small things mistakes i've made and things like that that i need to change such as i don't have these buildings historical yet so i gotta keep my eye on those I also don't have the districts fixed over here as well yet either. So there's just going to be a bunch of small things that get fixed around town. So yeah, I think the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get into this crematorium park. And I think while I'm building it during the time lapse, I'll go ahead and talk about the education. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the crematorium park over here and I hope you enjoy. Hey, Future Yeti here, here to give you a few facts, a few rumors, and how any of it has anything to do with our current city. All of these facts come from the City Skylines wiki, or from the Paradox wikis. I'll leave a link to those in the description below. The first fact is that only children will attend elementary school, likewise with teens in high school and young adults with university. If a citizen in that particular age group is prevented from going, they will not be able to attend the next level of education in the next age group. So if a child, uh, excuse me, if a child was not able to attend elementary, when it becomes a teenager, it will not be able to go to high school. However, there is a caveat to this. Libraries have a very tiny chance of upgrading the education level of the citizens who visit, regardless of their age. This chance decreases as the ev evolution, as the education level goes up. Last fact, people with higher education will take up lower requirement jobs. One of the questions that comes up in my mind when seeing that 
with this, I'll even put up a little display on screen here for this, is does this over-education affect the happiness of our residential industry and commercial? So let's get into the rumors now. The first rumor is one from my personal experimentation where I had started a city and unlocked universities. Through a few trials and whatnot, having multiple universities did not increase the total number of people who wanted to attend. Meaning in our current city, if I started a liberal arts campus or place down a U default university, it will actually detract from the number of people attending our trade school. The next rumor is that job education requirements can potentially affect how many people go through college versus going into the workforce. If we ignore the overeducation we have right now and only look at the job breakdown and then compare that to the number of people choosing to attend university and how many people are capable of going to university, I could believe that. However, the number of overeducated is clearly contrary to that. And secondly, we actually have no way of seeing, in defense of that actually, we have no way of seeing the breakdown of jobs outside of the industry DLC industry zones without going building by building. And we actually aren't even able to see the education requirements for jobs at places like medical, transportation, police, fire, etc. The last rumor is that people will leave their lower education job for a higher one if they are qualified. I've actually heard another rumor that counteracts that one, that citizens don't ever leave their job and stay at it their entire life unless you demolish the building. So that also, I don't know. Personally, I don't believe the one where they will leave their job because as an example from the last episode, one of our commercial buildings abandoned because we didn't have enough educated workers. And looking at how many overeducated we have, they should have just flocked onto that job. So clearly, I don't believe that's true at all. So what does this have to do with our city going forward? Because I want to keep leveling up our current trade school, I'm going to just leave it alone until our student capacity has hit max and it's starting to fall behind by a lot. And then I'll continue filling in its campus area with liberal arts or regular university. For jobs, we could continue to only zone in offices which would allow us to include the financial DLC. What this would do is allow us to see if higher education demanding jobs cause more people to attend our university. Second option is we could throttle our education and then expand upon our current industries or even potentially including the Sunset Harbor's fishing industry. What this would do is allow us to see if happiness correlates to matching education levels to job requirements. Or the third option is we do a little bit of both where we zone in both offices and also include in a little bit of the fishing industry. For now, I'm going to leave our trade school alone and go with option three for a little bit of both. What this will do is actually prevent us from learning a little bit about the mechanics of both. However, the challenge I originally gave myself to include a little bit of everything that takes precedence. So that's what I'm going to do going forward. Anyways, sorry for bothering you with a whole bunch of useless information. Let's get back to Pasta Yeti and the build at hand. All right, so I've added in this kind of like a memorial garden over here, memorial park. I've placed down the crematorium memorial park right here in front. That one actually does function as a crematorium, and I have two regular crematoriums flanking it just for aesthetics, I guess. And across the street from it, I have a Japanese garden. I wanted to put more over here, but because of the way the road bends, I, it was kind of difficult to put other parks around it and have it match up and line up with these other buildings across the way. But I decided to put the main park entrance over here, which is directly across from the camping park entrance, just to kind of keep them all on the same intersection here. But I've added a whole bunch of kind of like side parks all along. Or not side parks, but side entrances such as over here near this warehousing area and this uh, tram and bus stop area. And then same with one all the way on this side over by this industry area and these tram stops. 
as well as one over here across from this park entrance. I don't think I'm going to be adding any trees or park benches or other park assets to this one this time around. I think I'm going to wait until next time I go through and add a bunch of trees and vegetation and rocks and whatnot throughout the city in order to hit up this park. But yeah, I'm really liking this little kind of like memorial park where you have your cemetery and whatnot in here and you have all these paths and people can walk through there and whatnot. I think that was it, just leveling up to level three. Yep, there we go, just leveled up. Yeah, now that we got the cemetery stuff out of the way, I kind of wanted to go over and start filling in this area here. My idea was to have offices on the left here and to have high density commercial over here on the right. I think that would be a good idea. That's just how I think it should play out and that's what I'm gonna do. So first things first, I gotta replace this fire station with one that actually makes sense. We'll pretend we're upgrading them or something. I don't know. As far as all this low density commercial in here, I've already placed it down, so I think I'm gonna leave it alone. But yeah, I will get right into it. got these two areas filled out and we've got most all offices on the left and mostly high density commercial or actually it's about half and half over here now that I think about it where if we get out of this view and we look at it from here you can see where I have the high density the low density and the offices but I think it really kind of blends in those two areas well so I really give a shout out or give really give a thanks to the guy who me to start bringing that stuff in around this area to kind of mix it in and i think that really did work wonders and i kind of do like how it just suddenly ends over here and we're going to be going into like the university campus here i think the stark difference between the two is actually going to look pretty neat i also did a couple one other change which was over here there was an abandoned abandoned commercial building right here i had to delete it and as you can see a new one came up if we look at it the front of it says laundromat which is really hard to see in this lighting but you'll just have to trust me but when we click on it it says drugstore kind of silly but whatever there's another problem i had noticed over here which was this high density over here was complaining about noise pollution and if we look at our high center over here one of our policies is street music but it doesn't look like it's always complaining about noise so I think it's going to be, or sorry, I didn't really expand. The street music one increases the noise pollution of the commercial zone. However, it doesn't always complain about noise pollution. So I'm not quite sure if it's something I should worry about or just leave alone. But as you can see, we have filled in a whole bunch of high density commercial and offices and our industry demand and our commercial demand is still standing. So I don't know if I'm going to cut out the little bit I decided or wanted to do at the beginning of this episode, but I found a few areas in here that I wanted to kind of fix up and change. However, I think before I get into that, I want to kind of take a moment to look at our city services. All right, so looking at our traffic, this isn't anything that we can fix or change now. We have quite a lot of traffic coming in from this side and this side of the warehousing over here. I think if I upgrade this road in the middle to a six lane one, more people will choose to use this middle lane to get out instead of coming out on this side to use this six lane. 
But we also do have the cargo train terminal right over here. So it really is putting an emphasis on this one entrance. So I think when I do the cargo airport, I should choose to possibly use this entrance or have its entrance on this side. Just so that way we spread out the traffic from clogging up this particular intersection so much. And I believe this one... I should have pulled this neighborhood off of this road right here just a little bit and then upgraded this road to allow all of that heavy freight traffic through here. But too late now. And if we look, the majority of the red is on this right hand side of our city. And I think that means that the next tile or one of the future tiles I need to think about buying is going to be this one over here. And that way I can go across to the other side of this little inlet thing and build another highway connection over there and we can build more public transportation to get around. I think there's so much traffic over here because of how much commercial and tourism and offices and stuff we have over here as well as this particular intercity train station. But yeah that's just a quick thought I've had about traffic just now. So I've gone through and done all the city services. I don't know if I'll include any of all the talking and crap I did, but just to kind of give you a quick recap, just in case I cut it all out, I added, a, and sorry for the flashbang, I added another power station over here just to cover our future expansion. I've upgraded some of our regular water towers to the new large water towers we just got at the last milestone. I'm not sure which milestone that was again. I think it's the 17,000 milestone. I added another garbage processor over here. I added another road maintenance depot over here since we are starting to fall behind with that. I don't believe I touched education at all. I think I left it completely alone. I don't know if I've talked about that yet or not. I'm pretty sure I did. For healthcare, I added a sauna, or not a sauna, I think this is like a yoga garden behind this, these two high density buildings over here because they were suffering from the noise pollution all this co commercial offers, so I added that building back there to help cover that. For fire, I added in a fire station over here. I couldn't fit in the high capacity one, but I was able to fit in this one. And I was able to help out with this entire commercial district over here, but it couldn't quite reach over here. Just a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. And for crime, I added in a kind of like campus security, campus police over here for our university area. And I put it right next to our, I guess, campus daycare or campus elementary, whatever you want to call it. And I also spent a long time working with all of our bus lines and tram line. Well, actually, I didn't mess with the tram line at all because the tram line has such a high volume of trams on it now that I feel like if I add more... We'll just have trams waiting for trams to leave the stops. But it has caused me to think about adding in another mode of transportation throughout our city. Because when an intercity train arrives at this station, the trams get overloaded and people have to wait for two, one or two trams. But our bus lines, they were all backed up. So I had to go fix those, add in the correct capacity, correct number of buses. And people are very happy now and quite using them a lot. In fact, I believe we went from around 2,000 to it looks like around 2,500 weekly users for our public transportation, which is great. And I believe that's all I covered. I did not bother to go down into the natural disaster stuff at all. Although we're probably behind on mail. Yep, we are definitely behind on mail. I need to add another one of those. But... I didn't bother to do any of the natural disaster stuff this time around. I think I'll save that for a later date. So now that we have made it this far, we've worried about all of that. I think I'm ready to get into the next thing I wanted to cover. The next little thing I spied. Which was actually this area I'm looking at right now if I didn't give it away. I want to add in maybe like one or two blocks of office and commercial over here. As well as maybe a couple, couple things of... Maybe some agricultural industry. Just a very small area over here. Just to put something in here. So yeah. I think I'm going to get this area laid out real quick. And I will be right back. All right. 
right, so I've got it laid out. And as you can see, it's probably the only district I have named right now, and it's called The Grove. But if we look at it, I put in the Leisure Specialization for Commercial, the Agriculture Specialization for Industry, and I've left offices alone because I want to see what grows in and then just, what's it called? Uh, make them historical as soon as they zone in, just that way they, I keep them really small and they don't grow up really huge. So yeah, I'm going to get this area zoned in real quick. All right, so I filled this in and I tried to keep it somewhat respective of the original divide line that I wanted that I never was able to follow because of the just the way that the tiles worked out. So I've kind of left these trees alone over here. Otherwise, I could could have potentially zoned in over here. And the kind of theme behind this and calling it the Grove is kind of like where this entire farm industry maybe had this land purchased or something. And I guess they just didn't need it anymore. And they started selling some of it off and they just allowed people to grow and build whatever they wanted in here. And it kind of just turned into this entire mix of warehouses, industry, commercial, things like that. So yeah, right now I'm having kind of a difficult time wondering where I wanted to go next. I see a lot of what I could do. I see a lot of potential of where I could go and where this city could go. However, I'm just not quite sure what the best fit would be. I think I could go down over in this side and start filling this out. However, I have been recording for quite a while now, put a lot of work into this. So I think even if this episode's gonna be shorter, I think I'm happy with where we're at. Oh my goodness, that is a tall building. Hopefully that is already level five, level three. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, I think I'm actually kind of happy with where the city's at. I'm definitely happy with where it's going. I was really nervous when the city was first starting out about how it would go, how it would start to look and how it would start to fill out. And But a lot of those worries are starting to go away. Uh, I am still worried about the future, about where I'm going to go next once this whole area fills out, but I think I'm pretty happy with what's going on here. So yeah, I appreciate your viewership. Thank you for watching. It means a lot to me. There's a lot more people watching this content than I thought there would be. When I first started making content, I was only expecting people maybe like 20 to 30 views per video and to see the views in the hundreds at the time of this recording is absolutely mind blowing, absolutely insane. And it, I can just watch the progression of more people watching this and it's, it's incredible. And I thank you guys. Thank you a lot. And I hope you enjoy the future content. Bye bye. I wonder, is it worth living now? They told me dreams come true once you live it out. I picked the pieces from my childhood in a broken house and heal my soul from the trauma we've been given now. I hear the whispers in the wind under smoky clouds and tell myself once again, I'ma work it out. So much shit can happen, yo, it got me tripping now. Yeah, it's feeling different now. Feel like I'm zoned out, put my phone down, damn it's cold out. Plotting on a rollout, we took our own route, really on our own now. These them winter schemes, plotting for better dreams, cooking flows and melodies for OGs with felonies who've been locked since the 70s. You gotta pray for enemies with jealousy, they only feed off the good hearted. Just don't bargain, stay in your lane and keep hogging. Know that you a target and gotta finish what you started. Life of being an artist, gotta show them where your heart is. Put your all in, keep calling, keep going, don't stall it. Don't fall for what they all been wishing now. Just be yourself and it'll work it I out. wonder, is it worth living now? They told me dreams come true once you live it out. I picked the pieces from my childhood in a broken house. And heal my soul from the trauma we've been given now. I hear the whispers in the wind under smoky clouds and tell myself once again, I'ma work it out. So much shit can happen, yo, it got me tripping now. Yeah, it's feeling different now. 
Yo, living in doubt could be the death of you. It's only a few that'll rep for you, and rarely ones that'll step to you and let you know where you wrong at instead of letting you ride away in your soul. Rather be whole and pure in my spirit. This life never ending until you near it. A lot of shit to bear with. Sometimes you don't wanna share it, but don't keep it in cause you fear it. It's an epidemic sound, and you can see right where I'm headed. I'm elevated, oh yeah. We was waiting, oh yeah. To make a statement, it's clear The way them boys persevere Yo, we taking the stairs Don't let them get in our air They go watch, I'ma stare Tell them pull up a chair God gon' answer Is our it prayers worth living now? They told me dreams come true Once you live it out I picked the pieces from my childhood In a broken house And heal my soul from the trauma We have been given now I hear the whispers in the wind Under smoky clouds And tell myself once again I'ma work it out so much shit can happen, yo, it got me tripping now. Yeah, it's feeling different now. I wonder if it's worth living now. They told me working nine to five just to make it out. And now the dark nights got me needing mouth to mouth. Resuscitate my dreams, tell me what it's all about. I wonder if it's worth living now. They told me show a little skin just to make it out. Told me grind until I doubt, till I reach the clouds. Excuse me a little moment while I break out. Never let them take me out.